Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Premier Gal again, and today I have another freebie for you. It's the Gal Transition Wipe that I use in a lot of my tutorials. I'm gonna play it here for you. And it's just these purple bars that glide and wipe across the screen horizontally. So all it is is a series of four rectangles here that I've created in the Titler tool and added masks to then reveal and unreveal them, okay? So what does this look like in practice, in use with video footage? I created another sequence here where I overlaid this wipe on top of footage. So this is the final wipe video on top here. And if you play it, you can see what it looks like. It's a nice little animated transition between two clips here in the timeline. So it was very easy for me to make. I just created four rectangles inside of the Titler tool here that all aligned up. And then I separated them out into four different titles and then put them into four different sequences here under rectangle mass sequences and this is where I added a mask here underneath opacity and I animated the mask path to reveal and then hide each rectangle at the same time. So you see if I open up rectangle two, the same thing happens under effects controls. You'll see it animate in and then animate out. And then after I added the mask to each rectangle here, Underneath rectangles nested, this is where I place them all together so they all occur at the same time. And then once that was done, I just simply created a, a new sequence from this sequence, rectangles nested, to create the transition white final, which is just one layer. So it makes it easy for you to just take this one layer and drag it on top of your footage. So if I was going to create a pancake timeline, by just dragging this sequence down below, you can see that I can easily take the transition white final and drag it down on top of footage easily, okay? I also forgot to mention that you can easily change the colors of these rectangles if you have a different brand color, no problem. If you go over here to your project panel again and you go to edit colors. This is where I have the original title tools where I built the rectangles. If you double click on each rectangle, you can select the rectangle here in the title tool and simply go over here to color and select a new color. So if you want to go sort of a yellow color and you hit OK, there you go. Now it's changed. So the final transition now has a yellow and so you can go ahead and update all of these different rectangles to fit the color that you need. And if you ever wanted to create your own rectangular mask, I'm gonna show you really briefly how I did that. So under rectangle one, if I open this up again, you can see here under effects controls that I keyframe the mask, right? Well, how did I do that exactly? So let's say you wanted to build a, a rectangle, a new one. Here, let's create a new title. Let's call it rectangle. So if I make a rectangle here, just like this, you can go up to the corner, rotate it, and let's say you wanted to make it longer, do so like this, change the color, let's change it to like a red, hit okay. So if you wanted to create a mask on this, I'm just gonna illustrate it here in this timeline just to show you how I did it. So if you click on this rectangle tool and you hit on this polygon mask, it's actually called a four point polygon mask. You click on it, you see how the, the rectangle becomes sort of cropped by the mask. So first of all, you wanna get rid of the feathering because you don't want that in this case. In this style, it's more of a flat design. And what I'm going to do is rotate it until I see the full rectangle. And what I like to do actually is, is make it 10% so I can actually see the full rectangle inside and just move the points by clicking and dragging until it looks pretty good and aligned with the rectangle. And it looks pretty good. Make sure it's as close as you can to the rectangle, right? And then once that's there, you then choose a point in the future where you want 
this to actually be seen, so let's say you want it to be at this particular time code, just go ahead and hit this toggle animation next to mask path. But if you scrub back in time to the beginning, click back on this mask and pull it away to, to sort of make the rectangle go away. So if you play it back, you can see that over time, the rectangle is revealed. And this is exactly what I did with all the different rectangles in this final transition here. They appear and then they disappear. So to disappear, it's the same principle, right? So after it, it sits for a second, go ahead and hit another keyframe and then go to a point in the future and simply hit the mask again and then move it away so it disappears. So now you have this sort of wipe that I created and then it disappears. So that's how I built each of the rectangle transitions and then I just put them all together in one final rectangle nested sequence where all of the rectangles appeared together. All right, so that's it. I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to learn anything else by going to my website, premiergal.com slash tutorials and leaving a request there. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,